This year we got to see the fish hatchery, which is where our shad came for the class. And that was pretty amazing. I've never been to a fish hatchery before. And to see what I do in my classroom on like a large scale, that was really impressive. My name's Steven Jackson. I'm the manager of the Edenton National Fish Hatchery. My job title is a senior fisheries biologist. Our fish hatcheries generally raise fish for restoration of U.S. waters, public waters, uh, national wildlife refuges, military bases. The bulk of our production is Atlantic striped bass. We also do American shad and blueback herring and lake sturgeon. I went down to a boat ramp in Smithfield. There's these old guys that sit there every day, and they told me how great it was. Man, last Friday, these kids came down here. They turned loose these baby fish. You ever heard of that? Yeah, they're crawfish. <laughs> they're pretty cool. Get your cup and come to me first. I bet they I bet they wouldn't be carrying one. You don't know how to use it. Oh I see him! Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Get your cup. Wait a minute, where's my cup? Stop and think right now about what you want for those fish, what your hopes and dreams for the fish are, and also think about what can you do personally to help those hopes and dreams come true. Oh, was it a fish? Did anybody see the yellow? Was it when a fish? Blue? What was it? No, it is a really cool bird. It's called a prothonotary warbler. dark spots and see how they have warts in them. What kind of fish are shad? They're anatomists. Let's say it all together. One, two, two now. three. Anadromous! Anadromous! <laughs> Where are they swimming to? They're gonna swim, They're gonna swim to the anadromous. And then come back and then come to back the in like five anadromous. years. Anadromous! I think this is year six. I'm very passionate about conservation and making the Noose River a better river is important to me. I think that is kind of my, my driving passion just to help restore the river. I think the release is my favorite part too. Yeah, taking the, the shad fry to the river, um, saying goodbye to all the little shad, making it in the real world. Shad in the classroom went really well this year. This is my second year doing it, so uh, we set up the tank in my classroom a couple weeks early and got our water all set up and then when we got our eggs, most of them hatched and we were able to release them back into the river. I had one kid that wrote this quote, it was probably the highlight of my entire year. He wrote that doing the Shad in the Classroom program made him realize that our community just isn't our school or the people we live with, but it's the whole world and the whole natural world is included in that. So I thought that was kind of what my mission is as a Montessori teacher. So if I could get that out of a kid from doing this project, I'll definitely do it again as many times as I can. I feel like the students actually learn more. They retain information and it's, it's, it's an actual memory they would have. It's like, oh, remember the eighth grade when we went and like released those fish in the river. We actually got to do it instead of like watching somebody else do it. I mean, we could read about water quality in a book but you can't hatch shad eggs in a book or feel like an emotional connection to them. So just the fact that they can see it in their classroom and you know hold it in their hands really is pretty amazing to them. It kind of just like makes them feel a part of something bigger and a connection to like what the world really is outside of our school. I have them write a reflection and those reflections are like, oh, this was the best thing and I had so much fun or I learned so much or I, or even like they want to do something in biology in the future for their careers or something. I think that that shows me there was a connection made somewhere. We were 
uh, camping overnight on the platform tents to uh, learn a little bit more about the swamp. It's a refreshing canoe trip teachers get to take. It just helps you remember this is why we're doing this. And then what we do there, teachers can take back into the classroom for the students. So I'd recommend any teacher going on that canoe trek. It's very fun. What'd you catch? Yeah, I caught a bunch a of them. Small. I take them all. You're gonna take them all. Hey little boy, you want to see your fish? He just went fishing for the first time yesterday. First time? Yeah, he didn't catch anything. <gasps> Look, he caught that. <laughs> How awesome is that? Wow. You gonna ask him if he's gonna eat him for supper. Think he'll eat him for supper? <laughs> Would you eat him for supper? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>